Hey, hey, and welcome back to another learning Java 2D game programming video. So, in our last video, we made a volume control for the music inside of the options menu. However, currently, it only works on clicks, and this isn't quite the behavior that I want. I want it to react to dragging. I want to be able to click and then drag along here and have that change. So that's what we're going to do. We're also going to add a volume slider for sounds. So those are separate and to test that out, we're going to add a sound to on focus for the button. So let's get to that. In order for us to do this, we need to add two more events to our clickable uh, UI component. One event will of course be on drag and one will be on focus. So. If if we have focus and state get input is mouse pressed, that means we're dragging. So on drag and pass in the state. All right, Alt Enter. Say create abstract method on drag. Now both our uh, button and our slider needs to implement this. But while we're in here, we're going to do the on focus so that we can play the sound on focus for the button. So in order to do that, we need to know what has focus was before we updated this update. So before we update its value here, let's just save the old value. So I'm going to say a boolean previous um, focus value. I don't know, previous focus, maybe just previous focus. All right, let's not dwell on it. Previous focus is just has focus. Now we can say if previous focus, we didn't have focus during the last update, but we have focus this update, that means we just got focus. So let's make an event called onFocus, which will be called when we first get focus. So create that abstract method. All right. Now both of our, actually that also needs to take in the state, sorry. So pass in the state. There we go. All right. Now our clickable components need to implement this. First, let's go to the UI slider. Go up here, Alt Enter, implement methods, implement both of them. And the slider is currently going to not do anything on focus, but on drag, we want to do this. I'm going to actually cut it out and put it inside of the on drag event. And I'm just going to close this. So we just have to fix the button before we can try it. I'm just going to implement the methods. Let's leave them for now. Let's see if we can drag this now. And we can. So awesome. That was exactly what we wanted to do. And you can just click anywhere as well, and it's still going to work. All right. Super happy about that. Let's see. We need to be able to get the audio player from the button. Because right now, if we say on focus, I want to play a sound. And right now, we don't have a way of getting the audio player. So let's go into the state and just generate a getter. Alt insert, make a getter, get the audio player. Now, from the button, when we get focus, say get audio player, whoop, get audio player, play sound. And I made a simple sound for my buttons, which you will find in the description. So here's what that will sound like. And there you go. So that works awesome. If you heard when I started playing this, it play it plays the button sound once. And the reason is not that it's in any way loading it in or anything like that. It's just that when we initialize all of our objects, 
we usually set a default position to zero, zero, which means the first update, when everything is getting initialized before we've calculated the UI positions or before the update has really registered where our mouse button is, or our, sorry, our mouse pointer, before any of that has happened, during the first update, everything's at zero, zero. So basically, all of these buttons are at zero, zero, and the mouse position is at zero, zero. So it is actually hovering over them. And as a quick fix, I'm going to go into my input class and where we initialize the mouse position, I'm actually going to initialize it to minus one and minus one. So we are sure that we are not overlapping anything. And there you go. No sounds. All right. Now to be able to also control this sound, let's go to our UI option menu. And let's see, we have that in the state menu, UI, UI option menu. So I feel like since we are doing two sliders that are doing almost the same thing, then probably we could make a component of this. But to make something quick happen, let's just duplicate this code and then we can refactor it and make it better later. All right, so currently we're adding the music volume label and music volume slider. So here, let's duplicate that and say sound volume slider and sound volume label. Great, let's add them. and sound volume slider. And we already have a handle volume method. So let's do the sound in here as well. Let's just go over this, get audio settings, set sound volume to the sound volume slider value. And then the sound volume label has the string sound vol and we are rounding down the sound volume slider get value. So let's try this out. And there you go. Now we have sliders for both. So if we do a very low music volume, then the sound volume is still on. If we do a low sound volume, now you can't hear it. Awesome. So now we can play two types of sounds in our game and they can have different volumes. It's exactly what we wanted. So I'm quite happy about that. But there is one more thing. If we go out and go back into the options, they still have their default values. So they're not initialized with the values from our game settings. So let's fix that. And since this is an options menu, I feel like it is probably quite okay to take in the game settings. I mean, this is the UI that is gonna manipulate the game settings. So here we wanna say music vol slider set value, and we do game settings, get audio settings, get music volume. And down here, sound volume slider, set value, game settings, get audio, audio settings, get sound volume. There we go. Let's check that now. Right. Now we need to pass that in from where we enter the UI option menu. So we can just do states, get game settings, just like above. All right. Now if we change these and go out of the menu and go back into it, there you can see it is keeping the menu or the volume. So I'm going to have to find a good default value. I think the volume that you hear is a bit different from the volume that I hear. And this volume, if it's at 100, 100, it is almost blowing my brains out. So I feel like maybe something actually even a little less. 
yeah, I feel like this is probably a good value for me, 80 and 75. So let's fix that by going into, let's see, our game package, settings, audio settings. And here we're initializing it to one and one. And thankfully, it's very easy for us now since we could just say zero dot, well, what did we say, 80, right? Or zero dot eight. And the other one was zero dot 75. So let's try that again. Awesome. Worked. All right. How much time have I used? 10 minutes. Uh, we can just do something quick. Yes. One thing that I've been thinking of, if we go into here, it's still playing the sound because it's on its own thread and we never cleaned it up. So if we go back out here, now it plays, now it plays two, oh my god, I can't even think. Uh, it plays the song two times, I guess, next to each other, and we don't want that. But it's not too hard of a fix. Let's go into the audio player and create a clear method. And what this is going to do, it's going to go through each audio clip. And we're going to say audio clip clean up. After we've cleaned it all up, we're going to say audio clips clear. And from... I think we need to do it from here. We probably need to clean up inside of the state as well. So if when we're changing state, and of course we need to do this before we change it, let's say state.cleanup. So let's go into... Let's generate this, and for now, we are just cle clearing our audio player. There we go. All right, now it is quiet because we're not playing a background music inside of this class. Hmm, awesome. All right, what else? Do we want to do just some quick styling of our option menu? I'm just going to try some stuff out. How much time have we used? 13 minutes. Let's spend like a minute or two trying to do something that looks a little bit nicer. So I'm just going to do like a UI container. I'm going to say a label container, new vertical container. <coughs> Sorry. All right. And then label container. I'm going to do set background color, color dark gray. And then label container. I'm going to add actually this UI component. Just cut that out, put it in here. All right, so I have a label container. Let's also do a UI container content container, new vertical container. I'm gonna give this a background color as well of color dark gray. All right, and now inside of the content container, there we go. I'm going to do content container add and first let's just uh, add all of these music full slider sound vol label sound vol slider all right so away with all of these and we're going to add the back button as well to our content container and now inside of this ui option menu container, we're just going to add these containers. So add UI component, content container, and again for, or sorry, we start with the label container and then the content container like this. So let's just quickly look at that. All right, it's looking a little better. So as you can see, there were some space in between the uh, the label container and the content container. So I'm just going to set both of those margins to zero. Set margin, new spacing, zero, and you need to import that. 
do the same for the content container. Content container, set margin, new spacing, zero. All right, and I also want my content container to have a little more padding though. So I'm gonna say set padding to 10 on all sides. All right, does this look a little better? I don't know. Maybe we can give the slider a default margin down. Let's try that. Um, go to the UI slider, UI slider. All right, here we are. Let's say this dot margin is equal to a new spacing. And I'm gonna zero for top, zero for right, 10 for down and zero for left. All right, that gave us a little more spacing. Do we want even a little more or is that enough? Let's try 20 and see what that looks like. That was a bit much. All right, let's try 15. Is this better? I don't know. All right. So what do you think about this? Maybe, hmm, I kind of like it. Uh, I don't feel like we have a lot of time to keep exploring today, but this is absolutely something that we could do. Maybe this could be how our menus look. Maybe we can make a menu component and get our menus to look like this. I don't know, I feel happy about this. So I've got to wrap up this video here. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Hey, Doa.